Okay, this is video vlog number three. I'm interviewing my artist, and my artist was Gracie Kendall, and we she's a Second Life artist, which her art was avatars. Um, two of her works were A Thousand Avatars and My Life as an Avatar, which their links I'll put up there. But, um, yeah, um, so basically her art comes from her insecurities, which aren't only hers because everyone else has these insecurities about how they look, how men only prefer um, skinny and tall beautiful girls compared to not so pretty girls but um yeah and it's, it, it shouldn't only just be about females too because some males have insecurities as well about girls wanting guys that are muscular and technically in a way have qualities of a jock but not true in some cases but yeah and talking to her was about her insecurities and how these art how her art reflects it is very interesting that that motivates her um and basically also how the media makes us this way you know like magazines of models mm. that are um skinny basically sticks with all this makeup you know and it makes you think that guys want that and like the way they're posed with the guys like wanting them and also movies where the female is so beautiful it's like i wish i looked like that and um also well, her example was Disney movies and how they, how the princess always find the prince charming. You know, in some cases that's not always true, but that doesn't mean you won't be happy. You know, like happiness doesn't mean marriage and stuff like that. You can be happy without being married. And yeah, um, also was um we talked about was uh, beauty being. Uh, physical, you know, like, uh, possibly, and someone might not think I'm attractive because, um, one, I'm not wearing makeup, two, I have glasses, and three, my hair is really, really crazy and just, you know, it's, ugh. so, not example, my insecurities, but, yeah, and, um, that possibly, if it weren't, beauty shouldn't just be outside, it, it kind of is a factor because it's attractiveness, but it shouldn't just be based on that. Um, beauty is also in inside and in personality. You know, there could be someone who isn't that good look, good look, <laughs> good looking, but they have an awesome personality, and that's what makes them amazing. And you see that beauty in them, and. Most people don't realize that and don't think that and they just base things on looks which leads to more insecurity because of the media and the stuff they do so that's that and um yeah so with the Gracie's art her her art isn't just avatars she also did some other stuff before which I was a, it, most of her paintings well she did paintings so they were like crazy paintings with just like paint thrown over them they were in the her second life studio and i i saw them and, and they're amazing I, I love i love that type of art just random art like i guess abstract and i love it and as for the avatars i i, I like how she's sh not promoting or showing but she's like using uh somewhat imperfection of herself as art like using her self as art which is pretty awesome like i don't think i can do that that, that as a film major i think if i was like her i'd probably it'd probably be <laughs> some random film or blog or something about my life and stuff but the horrible things happening well not horrible but the usual teenage problems <laughs> as most teenagers go through but i that would be it i don't think i could do that just 
in a way throwing your laundry out there. Well, she doesn't throw her dirty laundry out there, you know, the metaf metaphorically speaking, I should say, but just using your insecurity as art. That's it's pretty brave and amazing. And I I love that about her. You know, she she admits I'm not perfect. You know, like it's awesome. <laughs> and you know, there should be people who should say I'm not perfect instead of saying I'm perfect. So that just leads to crazy stuff because then they think they're perfect, and when something happens, and they're like, I thought I was perfect, but no, we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. That's why I look the way I do. I don't have glasses. My eyesight isn't perfect. So, yeah, that's what I think about Gracie. It was really awesome meeting her. This project, I have to admit, was a bit stressful for me and whatnot. And yeah, as for the virtual gallery, still thinking on ideas. Most likely something with avatars maybe insecurities maybe even the differences in people not to say what well, yeah physical appearances like skin color and stuff I'm not gonna say race because well I'm kind of getting off tangent by saying <laughs> This, but I learned it in class, in my anthro class, that race technically does not exist. We just created it. So our skin color, the reason we all look different is because of genetic mutations that happened thousands and thousands of years ago to adapt to new environments that our ancient ancestors were going through. So kind of deleting race from my vocabulary so I'm not gonna say different races and avatars but different appearances dark skin light skinned um medium skin fair skin blonde hair black haired blue eyed that's pretty pretty good gallery to do so uh yeah basically so I guess I'll see you later